This isn't just another battery story. This is a warning shot across the bow of an entire industry. For decades, lithium-ion has been the uncontested king of energy storage. It powers your phone, your laptop, and your electric car. It's everywhere. But something unexpected is brewing. Deep inside CATL's research labs, engineers have been working on a battery that doesn't need lithium at all. Instead, it runs on something far more common, something you probably have in your kitchen right now. And if their latest breakthrough holds, it could flip the entire electric vehicle market on its head forever. The rise of sodium. For years, lithium has been the gold standard for batteries. Its high energy density and lightweight nature make it perfect for powering everything from smartphones to electric vehicles. Entire industries were built around it, but behind the scenes, cracks have been forming. Lithium is expensive. It's geographically concentrated, with most of the world's supply controlled by a handful of countries. And as demand surges, prices have climbed to unsustainable levels. That's where sodium steps in. So sodium is everywhere, literally. It's in the oceans, in the ground, even in your table salt. Unlike lithium, sodium doesn't require destructive mining or complicated extraction processes. It's cheap, abundant, and globally available. For a long time, though, sodium wasn't seen as a serious competitor. Its lower energy density meant it couldn't store as much power in the same space. That's a problem when you're trying to build a battery for a long-range electric car. But recent developments have started to turn that assumption upside down. Battery researchers began noticing something interesting. While sodium couldn't match lithium in raw energy storage, it had strengths in other areas. It performed better in cold temperatures. It was safer with a lower risk of overheating or catching fire. And most importantly, it could charge faster, much faster. This got the attention of big industry players. Governments are worried about supply chain stability. Automakers are looking for cheaper alternatives. Even smartphone and grid storage companies started paying attention. Sodium wasn't just a backup plan anymore. It was becoming a serious option. At the center of this sodium surge is Key ATL, Contemporary Amperex Technology Combi Limited. As the world's largest battery manufacturer, CATL's every move sends ripples through the market. And when they publicly announced their commitment to sodium ion battery technology, people took notice. This wasn't a lab experiment anymore. It was real, and it was coming. The big question now wasn't whether sodium would enter the market. It was how soon and how big the impact would be. CATL's breakthrough. When CATL revealed its sodium ion battery prototype, the reaction from the tech world was immediate. This wasn't just a small tweak or a modest upgrade. It was a leap, a reimagining of what a battery could be. For years, sodium ion research had been scattered across university labs and niche startups. Progress was slow. Energy density remained low. Manufacturing processes weren't scalable. No one expected a major player to throw serious resources at the problem, but CATL did. Their first-generation sodium-ion battery wasn't perfect, but it caught the industry off guard. It delivered a respectable energy density and, more importantly, could charge from 0 to 80% in just 15 minutes. That was faster than most mainstream lithium-ion batteries on the market. But CATL wasn't satisfied. Within a year, they pushed out a second-generation model with even better performance. Energy density climbed to over 160 watt-hours per kilogram, a huge jump from earlier sodium prototypes. Charging speeds improved again, pushing toward that elusive five-minute mark for short-range top-ups. And CATL's engineers didn't stop with just making the battery smaller and faster. They focused heavily on cold weather performance. Traditional lithium-ion batteries struggle when temperatures drop. Range plummets, and charging becomes painfully slow. But sodium-ion chemistry operates far more efficiently in sub-zero conditions. Tests showed that CATL sodium batteries could maintain solid performance even at temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius. This opened up possibilities for markets previously considered tough for electric vehicles. Northern Europe, Canada, and parts of the U.S. Regions where winter driving is a fact of life. On the production side, 
CATL tackled scalability head-on. They adapted their existing lithium-ion manufacturing lines to accommodate sodium-ion cell assembly. This wasn't some distant future project. Factories were being retooled. Supply chains were shifting. The message was clear. This wasn't a science fair project anymore. It was industrial-scale battery production with sodium at its core. Sodium. Perhaps the most telling sign of CATL's seriousness? They started talking publicly about integrating sodium ion packs into electric vehicles by the end of the next production cycle. Auto partners were already in discussions. For competitors, it felt like a warning shot. For consumers and clean energy advocates, it felt like the start of something entirely new. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. How it works. At its core, a sodium ion battery functions much like a lithium ion one. Both rely on the movement of ions between two electrodes during charging and discharging. But the real difference lies in the material choice, and that changes everything. Instead of lithium, sodium ions shuttle back and forth inside the battery. On the surface, this swap seems simple, but chemically, it presents a set of new challenges and advantages. Sodium ions are larger and heavier than lithium ions. This makes it harder to pack them tightly into a small battery cell. That's one reason why sodium batteries have traditionally lagged in energy density. But CATL's engineers found clever ways to work around this. They developed new electrode materials that allow sodium ions to move faster and settle more efficiently. They also redesigned the battery's internal structure, creating more space for sodium movement without making the battery physically larger. Another critical breakthrough was the choice of electrolyte, the liquid that helps the ions move between electrodes. Early sodium ion batteries suffered from slow charge times and limited cycle life because the electrolyte wasn't optimized. CATL's new formula changed that, allowing faster ion flow and better stability across hundreds, even thousands of charge cycles. What does this mean in practical terms? Faster charging, better low temperature performance, lower production costs, and perhaps most excitingly, no dependence on scarce materials like cobalt or nickel. For electric vehicle owners, this could translate to shorter stops at charging stations and more affordable battery replacements. For grid operators and renewable energy providers, it means large-scale storage solutions that don't break the bank. CATL's sodium ion technology may still be young, but the technical foundations are solid. And with each new iteration, the gap between sodium and lithium grows smaller. Hybrid Solution CATL knew from the beginning that sodium ion technology wouldn't replace lithium overnight. The energy density gap is still there, especially for long-range electric vehicles where every mile counts. But instead of seeing this as a limitation, CATL turned it into an opportunity. Their answer was hybrid battery packs, a clever mix of sodium ion and lithium ion cells working together in one system. Each type of cell plays to its strengths. Sodium ion handles the quick charging and cold weather performance. Lithium ion takes care of long range energy storage and higher power output. This hybrid design allows automakers to deliver vehicles that charge faster and cost less without sacrificing too much on range. It also gives manufacturers breathing room as sodium ion production scales up. Early models can blend the two chemistries while supply chains and production facilities for sodium-only packs continue to grow. From a technical perspective, building a hybrid pack wasn't easy. Balancing voltage differences and managing charge cycles between two different battery types required a new generation of battery management systems, BMS. But CATL pushed forward, integrating intelligent software that can seamlessly control both types of cells in real time. The result? A battery pack that charges quickly, performs well in cold conditions, and offers reliable range, all at a reduced cost compared to lithium-only systems. For EV buyers, this could mean the next wave of affordable electric vehicles arriving sooner than expected. And for CATL, it marks yet another step toward reshaping the future of energy storage. Challenges ahead. 
Despite the growing excitement, sodium ion batteries still come with challenges that can't be ignored. One of the biggest is energy density. Even with CATL's latest advancements, sodium ion cells still hold less energy per kilogram compared to high-end lithium ion batteries. For electric vehicles, this translates to shorter driving ranges unless manufacturers increase battery size, which adds weight and cost. Mass production poses another hurdle. Although CATL has begun modifying its factories for sodium ion output, transitioning a new battery chemistry from lab to large-scale manufacturing is a complex and costly process. Supply chains need restructuring, new material sources must be secured, and production techniques will require optimization to match the efficiency and scale that lithium-ion already enjoys. Durability is another question mark. How will these batteries perform after years of charging and discharging? Can they offer the long cycle life that lithium-ion users expect? While early lab results are promising, real-world data will take years to fully validate. Then there's consumer trust. Lithium-ion has become deeply embedded in people's minds as the go-to battery technology. Shifting that perception will require proof, time, and likely a few early industry adopters willing to take the risk. Yet despite these obstacles, it feels like a quiet turning point. What started as a backup technology is now stepping forward, ready to challenge everything we thought we knew about energy storage.